Welcome to today's class. It's going to be a little bit different than normal. I'm going to do MRAP. And MRAP means as many rounds as possible. So I will share three different exercises that you will do eight, time, eight times <laughs> and then just repeat them four minutes total. No breaks in between, you just gotta power through. And I'll speak a little bit less than I normally do, <laughs> uh, but you can listen to the music. We will always warm up. If you have an exercise ball, bring that along. You can definitely do the whole thing without. I have my weight bar and I've made it heavier than normal because we are just gonna do those eight reps. And the first exercise we use it for is lunges. So go heavy, whatever that means to you. <laughs> If you have hand weights, that's definitely also something you can use. Warming up, that's never going to change. Still something <laughs> that we need to do. So whatever works for you here, get your shoulders moving, your hips. And then I hope you're excited about all of what we're going to do. Let's do some jumping jacks. So it will be a mix of cardio and strength. And all sorts of good stuff. I'll finish with some abs exercises. All right, keep the pelvic floor in, especially if you have been pregnant, given birth. There's a lot of things going on there. And then I call it skiing here, jumping, or something else if you don't jump a lot. Keep moving your shoulders so we get that great shoulder muscles and everything involved four three two one twisting and make sure you jump your feet as I do here if you keep your feet on the floor the toe on the floor you can kind of maybe overdo something your knees because you kind of twist the knees from side to side so I like to jump Four, three, two, one. Squatting. So feet a little bit apart, not too far though. Ooh, sit down. <laughs> no. I hope you're a bit out of breath for now. So hip back. Toes slightly out. Let's just sit down. Let's just do four, three, two, and one, and then step a little bit wider to get more into the adductors, the inner thighs, moving from left to right, still keeping knee and toe, same direction, that actually goes for both, both legs here. And if you're here standing here, you might as well move your wrists. And anything else, you feel like moving. So most of us have something, right? It can be an elbow, do something there. <laughs> Shoulders, neck. All right, coming down. Maybe you'll plank it out, wherever you have space for that. Keep your feet somewhat far apart. Come down on your knees if you want. Or at the stay in your plank. Walk yourself back. And let's just do the last bit here. Really sprinting, moving the feet like drums on the floor and kicking the hands forward. All right, I see my angel here shaking. I hope it stays. It's really an old wooden floor I'm on here. So when I bounce like this, things kind of vibrates around me. <laughs> Let's do four, three, two, and one. Step the right leg back for a lunge, coming down, other leg forward, still warming up, but just getting a little bit of that lovely cardio in. So MRAP, as I shared in the beginning, is a very common <laughs> kind of exercise modality like HIT interval training. Kind of the same idea behind it that you do an exercise, one exercise, in my case here, your case, <laughs> eight times. Switch to your new exercise, do it eight times. 
switch legs opposite lunge and leg kick so as i shared three exercises if you're new to this each of these three exercises you do eight times when you're through with them first wrap <laughs> you start over again and you just continue as fast as you can <laughs> i would like you to keep proper alignment because it is both strength and cardio so just know that okay pausing here we are ready <sighs> take a breath i'm gonna show you and then you'll see on the screen i think it will be this direction <laughs> that you'll see the exercises that we do. But of course, I'll show you. The first one is, I call it, I think, exploding star. <laughs> Coming down here, it's a cardio thing. Jumping up like that, <sighs> eight times. If you don't do that, that one, all right? That's the first one. That's eight of those. Then you come down, do eight push-ups. Again, toes and knees, hands are wider than the shoulders, elbows out, eight of those. Then you come down maybe on your mat and do atomic sit up, Ooh, explosive here. If you can't do all the way up, maybe just do crunches like this navel in though. And then you start over again. So I might be fast, I might be slower than you. That really doesn't matter. You will be out of breath, Ooh, but keep fighting. Are you with me? I hear yes, right. All right, counting down. Exploding stars, you will count. I will keep, I will not talk. All right, here we go.
there you go. All right. Congratulations, you did the first one. You feel out of breath? Oh. Oh. That was just with body weights. Get some water if you feel like. Just a little bit of a sip, not too much though. Now, the next one. We are gonna do, oh sorry. We're gonna do lunges. So you're gonna bring a bar, lunges, deadlifts, and what did I write? Side planks where you kick up. So lunges, you just catch your breath. Again, eight, but this time eight on one side like that. All right, go heavy. Switching eight, opposite side, so you do both legs. Deadlift, keep the bar heavy. Hand weights if you have. Shoulders back, navel in. Somewhat straight legs. Lean forward to knees or shin, whatever works for your back and your, your everything. <laughs> then you put the weight down, the cardio bit. It might be side plank. You kick the left leg to the right side, like that. I see a lot of people do this. If that's where it works, do that. But you can come all the way up. And there, just four on each side. Eight in total. Now, if you mess up counting, don't worry. It really doesn't matter, okay? So just go ahead if you're like, am I at six, six or seven? Don't pause and ponder. Just move, just move. All right, I have to reset. So again, woo, four minutes starting. Five, four, three, two, one. Please don't be too quick here with your lunges.
eight. Now, if you just do one side, legs like this, you might want to do a few just on the other side. Maybe not eight, but just even things out. Oh. Huh. Are you with me so far? Next one. Using the ball. Whew. So if you don't have a ball, you can just get a repeat or copy paste what I do here with your feet on the floor and plank. Um, take your knees in in this case. So the first one, I'm gonna show you three ones. Hands underneath the shoulders. You roll the ball in, knees underneath the belly. Extend out eight times like this. Then you get off the ball. If you can catch your breath, Woo. come down here, get some distance in between your feet and then lift up like this. If you want more, you might bring your hands up here and out to the side to get the, the kind of the lift a bit further away. And then of course the cardio. Woo. You put the ball aside, knee jump. And when you do that, out. Knee jump, out, okay? Oh. Starting over again. Get your feet on the ball, have a few seconds. Woo. Go, count by yourself, eight. Don't be too quick though.
How are you keeping track? I hope you are. Mm. All right. Three more exercises, then we finish up. So, still eight, or actually, if you want to switch, if there are some things that you want to do more of and less of, you are so welcome to do so. I'm gonna use the ball again, just for two of them. Not the cardio, it's pretty hard to do the cardio with a ball. <laughs> Not that you can't, but the first, or the first one, yes, is gonna be a setup like this, and you can cross if you want. You can bring weights if you want. But you're gonna do eight, four to each side. More into the core. One more time, if you can. Again, if it's not, if it's not access accessible, or if you don't have a ball, you just go on your plank or do something else. I'm gonna try to get him out and climb, but going here, knee in, one, two, so eight times, trying to balance. So four on each leg. And from there, jump squats. Just eight of them, starting over again. Oh, and then I finish with some, uh, some apps at the end also. Here we go, four minutes. I'm gonna bring a little bit of weight for this one. Lean back, crossing. Four to each side.
Oh, I feel my wrists a little bit. Oh, but how cool was that going all in on these intervals? Whoa, totally enjoyed that. And for me personally, also just not sometimes always teach. Honestly, I love it. I love it. But as you can imagine, speaking while teaching and and working out is actually <laughs> a bit pretty hard in itself and you won't gain as much out of teaching. So often as to say that we, we train together and we do that. So I do train as I teach, but of course I will get more out of it if I don't have to talk <laughs> because that also makes me out of breath and then I can't do as, as good on the mat. Okay, I'm coming out on my side here. I have my small double folded yoga mat so you can do uh, whatever you wanna, thing you want to do. want to keep it white so you can see me. Now lift up so you keep your hips slightly back, knee towards the top shoulder, stretch out, keep the head and the legs hovering or if you want an easier one just top leg up and down like like that right. So choose your variation and exhale as you crunch in. Four more, four, three, two, one. Other side, same thing. Maybe remember your hip, the hip joint, so to say. If you took like a, a pole or a stick through the hips, the stick will be leaning back in a, what about 45 degree when you lift up. So remember, keep the legs elevated over the floor. If you want the more advanced one. Four more. your back <sighs> not to relax though <laughs> of course not okay, bring your hands either out here I really have come to enjoy and my neck has come to enjoy putting my hands like a pillow like this you are gonna cross your ankles gonna lift your butt just to tad up and then move it from side to side and then with this you can add on a lowering down of the feet to some extent and a lift with the feet towards your more directly over your, your face and then keep twisting moving forth and back if you're new to this you might do like eight twists and then pause <laughs> it's pretty intense switch other leg crossed on top oh i feel the burn Three, two, and one. Let's have the last bit of fun. Boat pose in yoga language. So you sit like this with your feet off or with the heels down, whatever you like to do. Ooh, and then we're gonna come down, hover over the floor, come into a seat again as I count as best as I can with this. <laughs> so on my eight, we're done hovering. On my eight count, we're up sitting again. All right, going down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, up, eight, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you can do one more, do that. I could do one more if I was not counting. <laughs> but I think I'm pretty done today. I could feel when I did the last one, it's normally not that hard, but because we did so many different planks, um, your core might be tired. <laughs> Wow, did you like this? Let me know in the comments uh, and also if you didn't like it. <laughs> but uh, please like, subscribe, share this video. Let me know if you want me to make more. Thank you. Have a wonderful, blessed day.